you know, pin them and stay on them and just see see the process through of melting it out. Mm. So yeah, it's, I kind of knew in my heart that if you know they had have stayed on those spots, it would have cleared it and I would have the pain would have been gone. Good everybody, Aaron and Ninja here. Here he is, the big fella. Hello. So we're just working on Ninja's fetlock here. It's another <laughs> Friday. <laughs> And it's time for sprints, so we've got to get the big fella, got to get the big fella right. So we don't really know where this video is going to go. We're just going to do some treatment and have a yarn, eh, Ninja? And yeah. What's been happening in our world, brother? How are you, mate? I'm good, thanks. Check in with Ninja. I'm good. Yeah. Thank you. What's, well. uh, what have we been up to, Ninja? What's a bit of a, a check-in for everyone out there? Yeah, I suppose we're going into another phase of our our business, which is us evolving to be more um, teachers to people outside um, our clinic, you know, our own bricks and mortar business. So, yeah, it's been good to um, check in with other people, you know, in America and around Australia that um, dig our, our work. So, mm. um, yeah, it's been really um, nice, validating. Yeah, people are, are really keen on it and can see the the value in it, so yeah, it's that's good. So, yeah, we've yeah, been... some cool people in our little community, eh? Like it's nice to know people out there love the bodywork as much as we do. But like, uh, there's some just cool people, you know, meeting people all over the world. You've got seven people from America, all parts of America too, which is cool. Um, but yeah, we're talking to Ninja today about how like companies, brands can focus on you know products and bottom line and selling things, but realistically building community is the most is the ground floor that's that's the essence of any kind of business or sporting club or corporation you know building a, a community that um respects people and 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 fosters growth i think is is epic so the fact that we can do this online with people all over the world has been really really sweet um and yeah we've even had a few american People saying they want to come out here and, you know, we want to go over there. We've got some interests over there. So, yeah, it's cool to see what is going to come of this experience. There's a bloody spider on Ninja's leg here. You see that? Where? Yeah. Look at that. My friend. Yeah. Pet there he is. Pet spider. <laughs> Better get him off before he bites you on the agates, Ninja. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> so, what have you been feeling in this hammy, Ninja? Just, um, there was just awareness. I didn't strain it last week, but yeah, there was awareness. So um, I pulled, I stopped the sprints part of last week and I, and I did the jud fine, but um, yeah, I just, I felt like it was about to um, grab, you know, like, or um, uh, what do you call it when it spasms? When yeah, you call it cramp. cramp or something. Yeah, yeah, so I just felt like if I kept on pushing it at top, that top speed, um, it would probably cramp. So I just sort of recognised that. I suppose it just that's the beauty of experience. Like I've I've done so many sprints that I kind of can I'm tuned into my body. I know when it's um the internal barometer. Yeah. We had a good tailwind, it was a hard deck last week, so it was sort of like different speeds and different forces going through the body than um what we'd had previously. So I'd probably um jumped up a bit in the amount of um load and force that went through my body. So um yeah. We've been sprinting in like winter like every friday we've been out there busting ass but it's been just such a, I mean, always is a wet winter here but we've just been ticking boxes it's been terrible conditions and then last week we had this amazing spring day like 20 degrees the deck was all of a sudden just hard as a rock and it was like you were just running so much faster so i think it just caught us a bit off guard didn't it Ninja? The, yeah and the tailwind too like it just added a whole other element to to the running so yeah, we're a few hours out from the sprint, so I'm just doing a bit of a flush on Ninja here. I'm not going too sharp or crazy deep. Got some Tiger Balm on him too, get some heat in there. So I'm just doing some broad strokes here with the heel of the palm, just getting a bit of a feel for what's going on. Yeah. Just trying to find the right channel, because the hammies have all these different gutters and channels, so we're just gonna do a few strokes there until Ninja can basically, yeah, tell me which gutter he thinks it is, which is normally a little bit more medial pushing out. I think, but, but, but yeah, mine might be a bit more lateral pushing in. You reckon that might yeah. be the... when you are in here? Yeah, that's where I can feel it under there. Yeah, but yeah, if you try try some angles, yeah, that's that's pretty good. Yeah, that's the way of pinning it and staying connected. 
the beauty of the body work is like the angle of which is what we've been teaching people so this will be a little bit of an insight for you but the angle of your arm or upper arm will be the angle of the pressure being forced so you see how i've ninja wanted me to push a little bit more lateral in so i had to lean my pressure over here and then yeah stay connected through that line with the heel of my palm which was interesting because like yeah i think the last time we treated your hammy ninja like a month ago or something I think it was a bit more the other way, wasn't it? You like yeah. the more medial pushing out, so. so it might, but that might be good to do as well. well. Yeah, we'll do a bit of everything. Yeah. Yeah, you can really tune in and like when you're receiving work, you, you can feel things coming up. You mm -hmm. have a real sense of what would be good. And um, yeah, you, you feel when the your pains are coming up and um, yeah, you can tune into that and you can give the, the person that's trying to help you some feedback as to some angles and some where some places to explore and you know just it's a team you know to try and deliver the perfect treatment to get the optimal outcome you work together i can feel quite a bit of dense kind of tissue there so just trying to yeah right in there yeah that feels good in there too just going over that little that, yeah. that that There's to me there. feels like where it's maybe a little bit bound mm. up, giving you a bit of grief, man. Yeah. Yeah, that tendon down there's got a bit in it. Yeah, so I was feeling just this, like it, it would, <laughs> even like the person on the table, you'll feel it. But even for me, I could feel like this kind of hardening approaching. And then I just kind of rolled over it a little bit. So yeah, sometimes yeah. muscles can just get a little bit bound up and you just need to actually kind of, in a way, flick them back in place, you know, just un untangle them. I like getting the old Christmas lights out of the out of the cupboard for the first time in 12 months. You got a buddy. You, you, you might have put them back in order, but they come out all tangled. You've got to shake them up a little bit. What an analogy. There you go, mate. Just, You're a wise man. Yeah, the Christmas lights. Yeah, so I can feel that there. So I'm just trying to figure yeah. out what angle is best. I can come, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's good. All that the bit there is... Is good. It's helping me. Is done. Is good. And sometimes it's nice to just yeah finish off the the line by taking it over into where that all attaches to. Not going too crazy on that bone, but just finishing off in the calf a little bit as well. But yeah, it's been cool. Like I said before, like we've been just ticking boxes with our winter lifts and sprints. But uh, as soon as the weather came out last week, we, we had, you know, 12, 13 people at lifts and the same at sprints. And it was just a bit of a, a celebration for us. All of a sudden, we've got all these people to sprint with and lift with and the weather's better. But fast forward a week and we've had <laughs> torrential downpour today. So it's, we're back to a, a heavy track and... It's going to be a bog, but... It looks pretty dry out there it's right all now. It's right, you so reckon, Ninj? Yeah, hopefully the, the ground drains a bit. Yeah. We'll be okay. Dobson Park. We're thinking, I reckon, Ninj, if we go and do a tour overseas, yeah. I reckon setting up a community lift and sprint at a local park or a gym would be awesome, where you just come yeah. down and have a, have a session with us. <laughs> Pull out a portable table. This is gold here, so you think it's bicep femoris ninja, the one that you yep. hurt? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So the most lateral hamstring yeah, just muscle. That there is good. When you kind of let, went out and then push back in. I feel a little bit more. Yeah. It's good yeah right through hard to see on the camera here because it's just so much blocking the vision but yeah just my the heel of my palm just the heel of that right palm with that <coughs> you know reinforced left side is is where the is where the money is i'll try and do some more finer detailed stuff now with the thumb just so you guys can see but yeah we'll try and find the the spot on the inch it's good
Pressure's okay there, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah handle it fine. Enjoying it. Enjoying Welcoming it. Welcoming it. So, yeah, that bicep femoris, if you can imagine. We should do some treatments where you paint on the skin, but everything comes from the sit bone. Semimembranosis, semitendinosis comes and attaches into here, that bulk there. But bicep femoris comes and attaches to the head of the fibula there. So I'm just kind of pushing down, but you've got to push back inwards as well. So just sitting on that and then just, my pressure's down, but it's still on a 45 as well. And I'm just moving upwards at the rate that Ninja's tissue is, is letting me. And yeah, just getting guided off what his experience is with this as well. Yeah, it feels good. So we could potentially, yeah, just look at doing a little bit of flossing as well. I haven't started with the knee up, but there's the potential to, yeah, just use his straightening of the leg to help me go up as well. Like that. relieving strokes in there just start a little bit lower see what that's doing down there what about that one there man yeah Not dancing with your sister nothing in it but yeah sometimes it is important to start right down at the tendon even though it's nothing there because then it just means as you start coming up it's um it's pretty comprehensive you've taken everything collected everything missed nothing Oh, yeah. Good strategy, man. Good strategies. Yeah, don't miss anything. Thorough, no, comprehensive. No tightnesses, no blocks are left unattended. That's it. I can come back and um, bite you. So if you're a practitioner out there, you know, my thumb looks like in a pretty compromised position there, but that's just where I'm strong. Over the years, I've built up strength there, but you see this reinforced hand, like I'm still able to put a bit of pressure in there. But this reinforced hand just means that it's just a lot more secure. And if you do get the speed wobbles and the shakes, you can get rid of them by just securing your other hand like that. So that's a bit of free intel. Yeah, you can was, see I just went over that then. That was a good line. That was a good through. line for Ninja. Yeah. I'll just do that again. So that was more on top of it or more even medial, do you feel? It's like? medial then pushing out. Yeah. And so that was... Yeah, so starting a little bit more on top of that bicep femoris and then yeah, eventually I can push out the other side into there as well. I feel like I'm in a good gutter there. So you can see reinforce with my left hand but even reinforce my right elbow into my body there and then I'm strong in that position but yeah I'm just doing this for the sake of the camera so you guys can see. But yeah, you can use elbows and forearms as well to get in there. But just for visual, it's in good there, to see. Yeah. So Ninja's identified a pretty good spot. He's being in there, so I'm just going to park on that a little bit. Yeah, it's clearing up. It's hardly feel it now. So. Another little thing that happened this week, we had the... Call it the big man challenge or the big oh, man workout. Ninj, tell them the big man workout. <laughs> I stitch a few people up. So, um, Ninja's workout. a qualified big man, so he <laughs> put all the kids through the challenge. Yeah, these I didn't realise these guys hadn't done it before, but it's um, it's fifty pull ups, a hundred dips, and then two hundred push ups. So, probably doesn't sound that hard, but you, you have to do your fifty pull, pull ups before you can move on to dips then do your 100 dips, then move on to 200 push-ups. So, um, yeah, that's that's the workout. So you can kind of get there any way you can. Um, yeah, but we want full reps, if possible, too. So there's a lot of half reps out there in the world. Anyway, um, mm. we said if you do the regression, so if you do the down-under pull-ups, you have to do double. So you do 100 pull-ups of down-under. And if you had your feet on the ground doing your dips or your tricep, whatever you call those things, like... Had to do 200 and 400 push-ups on your knees. So, um, yeah, but it's, it's just a lot of pain through <laughs> the front deltoid here from all the pushing from the dips and the push-ups. So it's good workout. It's it's mentally 
hard as well as that physical, you know, fatigue and yeah, blocking that you can't do things. So yeah, challenge out there, anyone, give it a go. Try and time yourself, see how fast you can get it done as well. And then um, try and better that time a month later or something like that. So yeah. It's good to What's the record, Ninja? You said something ridiculous uh, like when you were at the Bulldogs. Yeah, one guy, he's either like nine minutes or 13 minutes, which is ridiculous. It pretty much can do them all the reps straight. But um, my record is 27 minutes. Oh, did you get the same as Darst? Darst, you? yeah. Darst got 27 minutes last week. That was his first ever go at it. Probably a few half reps there, Darst. <laughs> I'd reckon. <laughs> But um, yeah, but we did it more as a team, didn't we, on Monday? Yeah. And we did, and a month ago when I did it as well. So yeah, you kind of don't move on to the dips until everyone completes their pull ups, and then you, everyone can um, the dip that has finished and other people are still going. You can encourage them and get a bit of um, vibe going, you know. So it sort of helps everyone get through. So yeah, it's, it's good, good thing to do, and just. Yeah, what we did with, say, the dips and the push-ups is you say you do reps, um, sets of 10, and on each minute you do um, 10. So you get, so it takes you t 10 or 15 seconds to do your, your reps, and then you get 45 seconds rest, and it just keeps you on track to um, get your workout done. So, yeah. There, sorted a lot of people out. A lot of people are sore oh. five days later. I'm still sore, Ninja. Uh, but I feel like it's a really good reset for your body as well. Like you just feel like you, um, yeah, you get a lot of tone and activation through your your core and things like that as well. Even though yeah, it's not, a, not a core workout. It's but speaking about in the bank, like I reckon that'll make you just dips and push ups or just push and pull for your upper body just so much better because you've grueled yeah. through that. You know, yeah, done the work, tough stuff. Yeah. But sprints is where it's at, eh? Sprints is the main event. Yeah. Ah, through there. That's it's good. good. I feel like I cleared that low a bit and then I went yeah. up higher and it was like the next... You pushed it up into there. The next thing, yeah. yeah. Just in there, where you are now, feels like there's a deep thing. You just push out a little bit laterally. There'll be a bit of a knot there. Yep, in that area. So like you're going through layers, you know, you know, you, yeah. feel, you feel like there's not much there, but you just keep on working it. And then these things appear that have been um, hidden or, you know, but you kind of, yeah, when you're receiving this stuff, you, you know that they're, these are important places. They've probably been holding you back in the past. It's good, man. What we're going to do tonight, we're going to do a bit of um, a few jars, a few pyramids, <sighs> pyramid runs. and You don't reckon any sprinties? Yeah, but I was thinking because it's, it's wet. A few, a few more long distances. Yeah. If it, it depends if it still stays like this, we can do a normal session. But if it rains again, we'll probably go we'll all plan B. A bit. Well, what are you thinking? You're the, the wet day timetable, man. We'd probably do... Um, Two thirty sevens, two fifties, and yep. then do a bit more of the tens and or twelves and twenty fives. Maybe we could throw yeah, throw a pyramid in there this week rather than Judd's or something like that. Yeah, okay. So like your fifty fifty hundred, one fifty. And then do back a, down? Yeah, and then back down. After two one fifties? Yep. Yeah, okay, cool. There's a bit of work in that, that'll sort them out. Yeah. Just going out to 150 is a bit easier than going out to 200. Yeah, yeah. It's 400 metres less Just work. getting used to that, yeah. That's good in there, man. It's medicine. You yeah. know you know just what you need, don't you? Yeah, it's more than just ploughing through, isn't it? You've got to kind of pay attention to all these little idiosyncrasies and nuances yeah. of the tissues. Yeah. And yeah, work together as a team. So we're constantly asking feedback from our our people on the table because it, it's definitely an active process with the treatment. You know, you, 
sometimes it's good for someone to come in and have a captain snooze if they need to have a stress relief. But if you're there to fix something, you've got to do it as a team. It, it's so you got to experience this stuff to to know it. I think it, like that stroke Aaron just did then that felt like perfect body work. You know, it was like just what that tissue needed right at that point in time. Like it wasn't uncomfortable, but I knew that it was effective. You know, so he's, all the work he's done warming up those tissues, going nice and slow and, and getting, um, making me feel safe. You know, like I feel like he's, uh, we're working together. It's going at a, a rate that my tissues can, can handle and melt at. So it's, it's really important stuff, that consent, that permission, uh, and that tuned in kind of sense. But yeah, it's like um, that was so meaningful. What he's doing right now, if I tune in a little bit, yeah, it just sort of, it just means a lot to that tissue that it's, it's, it's got a chance now. That's, and that's the sense I'm getting. Like I've got this chance to, for this tissue to, to function optimally again. You, you just know when you're feeling it, like it's, it's connected in, it's, it's clearing it out. It's, yeah. So yeah, it's a language. It's cool, man. Yeah. And probably, unfortunately, it's, it's probably rare that people feel these sensations, these sensations when they're getting treatment. Like, it's an absolute knowing that they're going to be right. Yeah. There'd be a few spots, wouldn't they, that people yeah. would go over, but yeah. unfortunately but do, it's yeah. not. Yeah, that was one of the things that really drove me. It was like that people were over the top of these spots that I knew were really important just because it's a language. It's my own body. I was the expert on my own body, but they kind of didn't really, you know, pin them and stay on them and just see see the process through of melting it out mm. so yeah i kind of knew in my heart that if you know they had have stayed on those spots it would have cleared it and it would have the pain would have been gone or well, the restriction had a bit would have been gone but yeah the, so when i started doing it on my own body and and getting the results that i could that i you know there was it just confirmed my uh suspicion that it would that would work so That's what we kind of say to our students a bit too is like you, they need to have the experience of healing their own body up or freeing their own body up so they, it's, they're certain mm. you know, that this, this work is effective in yeah, their results. Cool little moment on our webinar this morning. Had our week four webinar and we had a, one of our students actually in the clinic with us and she joined in in the webinar live and she happened to have an ankle roll from about five, six weeks ago, and we were happened to do, in module two, we're doing lower leg, and yeah, we did some calf work on her, and then Ninja just fast forwarded and showed a little bit of dynamic ankle, which isn't coming out until later, but it fixed her. So it was amazing for our students to actually see live on camera when it wasn't even intended, you know, like we, he fixed her. So it was just cool for them to see that we, with this body work, you can be doing some pretty incredible stuff. So that's a part of this work. You've got to kind of, understand the magnificence of the body to actually know that with this plumbing work body plumbing you can heal heal this stuff it's it's gonna give the body the chance unclog some stuff and then there's recreate flow and you know cells synovial fluid blood healing fluid can rush into these areas and the body can do it you know sometimes it just needs a bit of a kick start but it's a body that does the work yeah we just yeah. give it a chance don't just we? give it a chance I think that's one thing I'm thinking too is like all of our treatments that we do on our in our YouTube channel and wherever, like they're all real treatments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aren't yeah, they? That's not... where they all stem from. We're actually there is benefits we gain by you know treating each other, like pre feeling it and and yeah, but we do benefit. Um, yeah, in our own function. So yeah, it's things are happening. It's, it's this is all. We're totally transparent, I reckon. Like we just, it's not just, yeah, not, it's not for just show. Not show, just yeah. a, it's actually, a, this is real. It works. Like even though you've been just enjoying it today, like there's still a bit of stuff you got to go through, isn't there? Like yeah. You, <laughs> it's pushing yeah. into some shit, like. Yeah. Man, 
this passive stuff can be pretty powerful too, eh, Ninj? Like just yeah, you can feel your pinning. Mm. That feels good. And you feel it just getting flossed. Yeah. Ninja special. Fix. Tap the heel. Tap the heel. You're good to go, brother. Thank you. Done. Thanks, mate. Thanks for joining Fixed. in. Fixed. Free Fixed. to sprint. Free to sprint. <laughs> Take a little towel off. Done skis. Get it done. Sprint, guys.